The South Carolina Gamecocks are just one of two teams in the entirety of Division 1 women's college basketball to be 10-0 to start their 2022 campaign, and it's fair to say that the squad has been extremely impressive. They've beaten multiple other ranked teams, including a healthy Yukon Husky squad, and have overall looked completely unstoppable through their first month of action. So, why has this been the case? What players and other factors are contributing to such a dominant season for South Carolina so far? I'll be taking a look at that and more in today's video. Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe. For more women's basketball content like this, I'd love to reach 1,000 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year, so all support would be greatly appreciated. A like on the video would also go a long way, so be sure to do that if you enjoy the video as well. Anyway, with that being said, let's talk about South Carolina. As I mentioned, the Gamecocks have been purely elite to start this season, going 10-0 to begin it. These haven't been easy games either, as South Carolina have been frequently tested by other ranked teams, but always find a way to push past the challenge and come out firmly on top. To begin the season, they face now number 2 ranked NC State, battling past them for a 9 point win and what was overall a bit of a shaky game for SC. Since that game though, they've found their way, dominating every unranked team that they've faced by at least 28 points, excluding Oregon, who they beat by 17. And now, just the other day, they beat the 9th ranked team in Maryland by 7 points. Maryland took it up to the Gamecocks to be fair, but South Carolina again proved to be far too strong, establishing themselves further as the clear favourite for the national championship right now. But why is this the case? What factors have made South Carolina so dominant? Well, firstly, their offence has been simply unmatched. South Carolina are a top team in the country when it comes to shooting the ball, based on field goal percentage and it's why they consistently score above 75 points per game. Their offense is versatile. They can go inside and score in the paint through their bigs or move the ball around the perimeter, eventually getting good looks from three-point range and cashing in on those. It makes them so unpredictable, and in turn, a really difficult team to defend. So it's a big reason why they've won 10 straight games to begin the new season. However, I think what's been even more impressive so far this season for South Carolina is their defense. With Aaliyah Boston anchoring the paint and many hustle plays on the perimeter, South Carolina have been thoroughly clamping their opponents, allowing just over 50 points per game, which is just insane. It has them ranked in the top 10 defense in the nation based on opponents' points per game. Notably though, they have by far the best interior defense in the country, averaging over 9 blocks per game as a team, which is over 1 block per game more than the second highest in the NCAAW in Mississippi State, who average 8 a game. The remarkable stats don't end there though for the Gamecocks on defense. They also hold their opponents to just 32% shooting from the field, which ranks them 6th in the country. It's truly incredible stuff from them on that end of the floor, and they display this level of defensive tenacity against any team they come up against, from the unranked teams to the top 10 teams in the country. Like for example, when they held UConn, a usually elite offense, to just 3 points in the final quarter. Championship caliber teams in any basketball league tend to not only have a great offense, but a top tier defense too, and as I've shown today, South Carolina is absolutely no exception to that suggestion. So, there's brilliant offense and defense contributing to South Carolina's elite start and prospective hopes for a national championship. But what players have been great as well? The two players I want to focus on today are Aaliyah Boston and Zaya Cook. Obviously, there are many other players on this roster that contribute significantly to their success. The team is pretty deep but I made a video on South Carolina just a couple weeks ago, so I don't really have too much to add to a lot of the players. Like Destiny Henderson has continued to be a great supporting piece, as has Bria Beal, but the play of Boston and Cook in particular has been extraordinary early on, and there's a lot to discuss about how they're playing. 
So that's why I'm gonna give them a bit more of the limelight today. Anyway, let's firstly discuss Aaliyah Boston. Aaliyah Boston, plain and simple, looks like the national player of the year right now. She's just been that good and that much better than anyone else. With Paige Beckers injured, the award seems almost certainly hers, and we're just a third into the regular season. On the season, Boston is averaging just under 17 points per game and just under 10 rebounds, some of the best efficiency in the country at 61% from the field. However, if you look at her recent stretch of five games, you'll see just how truly dominant she really is. In her last five games, Boston is posting figures of 20 points per game, 13.2 rebounds, and over three blocks a night. That's occurring on shooting splits of 67% from the field. It is pure Shaq-like dominance from Boston as of late. She's simply been unstoppable inside. Her inside presence is unmatched, recently recording seven blocks against Maryland the other day, and her ability to finish around the rim in an array of ways in the post is top tier. If South Carolina go far this March, Boston will be the biggest reason why. Her impact on South Carolina is huge, and her dominance has been the key reason for their success, anchoring the defense inside and being a complete mismatch on offense for the opposition. Zaya Cook has also been starring for South Carolina. Though she struggled shooting in a handful of games early on this season, there's one thing to note with Zaya Cook. She steps up when the lights shine the brightest. Cook's best three games of the season so far have all come against top 10 teams in the country, scoring 17 points on NC State, 17 on UConn, and a season-high 20 points the other night against Maryland. Cook is a cold-blooded hooper with a filthy handle and mentality that's reminiscent of Damian Lillard. Cook wants to win. You can tell that's all she cares about when she's on the floor and her ability to dictate the flow of the offense, play make for her teammates and create offense at will has been a big reason why the Gamecocks have been so dominant early on during this season. So with that all being said, why do I believe the South Carolina Gamecocks are easily the best team in the NCAAW right now and the clear favorites to win it all come March? Well, the team is consistently beating quality teams in quality fashion. In all of their games against ranked teams, they've never seemed to be a step behind, always in control of the game, though they've been tested. Through these first 10 games, there haven't been really any major flaws with this team to criticize either. Sure, maybe their ball protection could be better some nights, maybe the efficiency of their three-point shooting could be better too. But overall, this is such a thorough, all-around team with no real weaknesses to exploit, and that makes them so dangerous to come up against. So yes, I think they're easily the favorite to win it all right now. They are rightly ranked as the best team in the country by the AP poll. With a deep squad led by two of the biggest stars in college basketball right now, probably the best defense in the country by a mile, and a solid, versatile offense, the South Carolina Gamecocks have to be easily the best team in the country. And that probably needs to be discussed a bit more. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? Is South Carolina your favorite to win the national championship right now? Do you think Aaliyah Boston is the player of the year at this point? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.